uh, shown over here okay and then we go to smart study or click on start studying okay you have four options smart study study guide memorize and test welcome back to the no code ai challenge day 130 are you one of those who open the book just hours before the exam and finally when you do so you have no clue where to start from should you go through the notes watch a youtube video or go through the entire textbook or watch a wall and hope that some miracle happens we've all been there but what if there is a tool that can help you streamline your study materials create notes for you and also help you understand where to start not just that it can also take tests which can help you understand where you stand with regards to a particular subject like your study buddy meet tr.study this tool is literally threatening the university system it's like having a ai powered study buddy that handles everything for you textbooks pdfs lectures and even youtube videos you name it they have got it covered upload your notes or paste a lecture link and Thea will break it down in few seconds. It gives you summaries, flashcards, study guides, and even quizzes based on the content that you upload. It's like turning your study chaos into a clean structured plan. It will change the way you study and memorize things. So let's see how it all functions. Let's get started. So let's go to Thea.study and let's create a free account and sign up with Google. The same old process that we have been following on every tool. So I'll click on continue and there you go. Which best describes you, student or educator? So if you're a student, you can select this one. If you're an educator, you can select this one. I'll click on student for now. Click on next. It'll ask you what type of school are you currently enrolled in? Secondary high school or college, university, graduate degree, professional degree, certification, others. So let's go with college, university. And what's the name of your school? let's say a b c d and start start okay so once you do this you can see here we have a study for a test or summarize okay or try one of our demo kits right so history world war one psychology cardiovascular systems and so on so forth so let's go with summarize now it will ask you to upload a document or a YouTube video. So I'll click on YouTube. It will ask us to give the link. I'll go to our YouTube channel. And let's say I take one of the links, which has um, data types, option sets, and custom states. Right. So I'll take this particular link from here. Come back to Thea.study. Paste the link. Once this is done, it will ask us which language do you want this to be in. I'll just leave it as is. It will take by default English. I'll click on create a new summary. It will go through this entire video. And if we check the video, this video is about 1 hour 41 minutes altogether. But Kia.study explores this entire video in a few seconds or maximum a minute or two and get just the summary and there you go the video title data types option sites and custom states delves into various concepts relevant to web application development okay so we have all the details that this video provides now you can also go to key terms and check what are the key terms that we have spoken about in this particular video so for example data types categories of data that define the nature of information option sets predefined list of choices for user selection right and so on and so forth now you can click on create study kit from summary okay and when you do so it will give you a organized way to study this particular content okay so firstly we have the study kit where we have added the material you can add multiple other materials if you have and then study on top of that so we have key terms uh, shown over here okay and then we go to smart study or click on start studying okay you have four options smart study study guide memorize and test which can also be seen over here smart study study guide memorize and test right so let's go with smart study for now 
and it will generate mcqs basis the content that we have given okay so what i'll do is i'll answer them and let's see how it goes couple of them what is the primary purpose of data types in application development to manage user authentication and security to create visual elements on the front end to enhance the aesthetic design of the application to define the kind of data that can be stored in the database so the answer is this one so i'll click on this and you can see that it has turned green right and it also gives you some pointers basis the content that you have given now i can go to the next question i'll randomly select any any one because i want you to know that when we choose the wrong answer it shows that as right and this is the right answer okay you can see the pointers over here now i'm going to the next one clicking on something this is wrong this is right you have question history which when clicked will show you what are the questions that you have answered and whether it was right or wrong right so i'll go to the next question and if you don't know the answer you can also click on show answer it will show you the answer with the pointers now let's move on to study guide so you can see that it has given us a guideline of what are the terms that we have to study in this particular content that we have uploaded and how do we use it right let's go to memorize and what it will do is it will give you the flashcards basis the content that we had uploaded now if you see that you understood what is geographic address then you can click on got it okay this is just for you to memorize what exactly this is now let's say data types i don't recall what this is so i'll click on not sure user data type mm, got it wrong maybe right so I'll, I'll just mention that i've got this wrong okay so you can see here known is one learning is one right and when you keep answering this it will keep capturing what you have already understood well and what you have to keep learning further front end let's say i'll click on green you can see known is two right there are also a couple of games uh, which will not be covered during this uh, video series we can also go to test you can set the timer for yourself and you can mention how many multi-choice questions do you want and how many short answer question do you want and uh, the difficulty level and then click on create test it will generate the questions for you where you can answer and it will automatically give you the results basis your answer the timer will start once the test is ready so you can click on start your test and the timer is on now it'll ask you uh 14 questions 12 mcqs and two uh, where you have to give answers okay as you can see we have got points for each of the questions and uh, finally you also have to answer these two questions and once you're done you click on i am done and basis your answers it will give you a score isn't this a fun way of learning things so you upload all the content that you've got pertaining to a particular subject or topic and it will give you study guide and everything that is required for you to study this particular topic in a more structured way and you can also understand how much you have understood that particular topic via tests so that's it no more last minute panic no more blank pages just an ai tool that will help you get through whether you are organizing notes preparing for your exams or just trying to make sense of a complex information faster tr.study makes it 10x easier so give it a try and do not forget to share this with one friend who is desperately in look for a tool like this thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one